I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan, and welcome back to the PC Engine Files, and today we have a curiosity for PC Engine, a French-developed game for a Japanese console. The company that developed this game is called Loracell. I'm probably butchering that pronunciation, and I apologize to all of the French people that are watching or listening to me right now, but be that as it may... They were a developer from the 1980s through the 90s for multiple platforms such as ZX Spectrum, Amstrad PC, Atari ST, ZX81. It's funny, they're not really known for console games, which may be why eventually this ended up being licensed to Victor Musical Corporation. And that one confused me quite a bit because I was like, wait a minute, like the record company? Like Victrola, like the record label, but I guess so. And then Infograms got involved. You may know them as the current parent company of whatever is left of Atari. They own the intellectual property rights to what remains of that once historic video game company. But to make a long story short, eventually between Victor Musical Industries and Infograms, it came out on a variety of home consoles, including the PC Engine, in 1991 for this particular entry. It has been described as Qbert but two-dimensional, and I'd say both yes and no to that. It is in the sense that your character, the Squeak, is changing these tiles from their native color of blue to the more vibrant pink, and like Qbert, you are avoiding enemies as you do so. But unlike Qbert, you can fire at those enemies to knock them out of your way, at least most of them, not all of them. There are pitfalls that you can't go down, which you have to avoid, unlike Qbert, where the pitfalls are the edges of the boards and you don't want to fall off there. So. That's different, along with the fact that there are some tiles that have arrows that push you in whatever direction they point. You can fight against them to a certain degree, but often you need to push along just to avoid enemies or to get blocks that are otherwise inaccessible for you to walk over, so sometimes you actually go with the flow of the arrows. There are also certain levels where you can only access a set of tiles by stepping on a transporter platform taking you from one part of the level to another. Otherwise, there's a wall of blocks in your way and you can't get to the tiles that you need to change from one color to the other. And there are bonuses that you can pick up as well, some that speed you up, some that grant you other temporary powers, like you can run over enemies without shooting them. At least it seemed to me that happened one of the times I picked it up, but maybe that was just my imagination and those enemies were not enemies that could do me any harm even by walking into them. And some enemies need invincibility because as you can see the one that I just shot there, it was not even vulnerable to my shots. Not all of them can be taken out with your fire. So there are plenty of different things that make this unlike Qbert. You can't just call it 2D Qbert and leave it at that. It's got a same basic premise in that you change all the tiles from one color to another. But besides that, it is completely different. And I would say, if you're looking for a puzzle platform game with a large variety of stage layouts and elements and obstacles to overcome, it's actually more sophisticated than Qbert. The simplicity of Qbert is addictive in and of itself, but this squeak, he has a lot more on his plate than Qbert. And I think if you have been in need of something new for PC Engine or your Turbo Graphics through an EverDrive or SSDS3, this could be what you're looking for. It's a little bit obscure. In fact, when you try to look up Squeak, you often get Super Squeak, which is the better known sequel that came out on many different platforms. I have it on Atari Lynx, but it also came out on Game Gear, Amstrad, Atari ST, PC Engine. It's available quite a few different ways, but 
if you do some careful looking around, you can find the original, not the sequel. And if you want it, it's reasonable. It's not going to cost you an arm, a foot, and a leg. I've seen loose copies go for 20 bucks, complete copies go for 30 bucks. So depending on whether you're a completist or not, you can get it either way. But I think a loose card would be okay in this respect because the cover artwork isn't really that exciting that you would need to pay $10 more for. It's just the blobbish squeak being chased by the same enemies that he's chased by in the game. And even the card itself has the same artwork as the box. So really, you're just buying the artwork twice in that case. What's the point? If you absolutely want a copy you're never going to take out and play, you could get it sealed for 50 bucks, but I think that's kind of pointless. Anyway, I think Squeak is a worthwhile investment of your time. Don't just take my word. You can try it in emulation. Try it before you buy, as I like to say, before you spend... 20 30 or $50 on this game, you should know what you're getting and what you're getting into. And I think it's an underrated, underappreciated game that has very little available about it on the internet. Other than like Giant Bomb and the PC Engine Software Bible, you can't find much about the original Squeak out there because Super Squeak appears to have outshadowed it. Even though Giant Bomb's own review said the sequel is graphically enhanced. That's all they did. They just took the formula and iterated on it a little bit and basically copied the same gameplay. So if you like Super Squeak, you'd like Squeak. And if you like Squeak, you'd like Super Squeak. It just looks slightly more polished. They found a formula and they stuck with it. And I think as far as puzzle games, you can't really go wrong with this one, especially given the high cost of many PC Engine games. This one's definitely in the more affordable range. And maybe you should pick it up now while it still is. Because you never know with these kind of things. I'm Mr. Mega Man Fan. And thank you for watching. I appreciate your time. And I hope you'll give Squeak a try. And if not, hey, it's more power to you. Do what you want. I'll see you next time for more PC Engine games.